Like, no bullshit. Look at her face right here. And then look right here. She was the closest. But as the years... Who the fuck is that? My name is Vontae. If you're new to the channel, I'm Vontae. If you're back, welcome back. I'm Vontae. Nah, I'm Vontae. Hey. But anyways, uh, enough of my awkward ass intro. Today, we're going to be looking at... What are we looking at? I don't really care about Cardi B, but at the same time, I want to hear what dude talking about. I never watched this dude before. He got about 3,000 subscribers, so I'm going to put his link in the description so you guys could check him out and shit. It's been six years since Cardi B dropped her debut album and only album, Invasion of Privacy. And that album right there took her to the top. It skyrocketed her career, features, commercials, brand deals, visibility, awards, Grammy, everything. Cardi B became a superstar. She already had a following online doing- Damn, I see why they call her ass 11 faces. No, I'm not hating. I'm just saying like, y'all, it's the fact that Cardi has went through like so many different looks like in her face because I, that Cardi, that was like so long ago. The Cardi that I just seen with the teeth all fucked up and the face just looking all commercials, brand. She could have been at her lowest. Shit, I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. Cardi face. Deals, visibility, awards, Grammy, everything. Cardi B became a superstar. She already had a following online doing skits on Vine back in the day and Instagram as well, showing her life as a dancer, making funny videos and all that. A lot of y'all hoes think it's sexy to suck dick with red lipstick, red lip gloss, huh? But y'all end up looking like clowns. That's where you got suck dick with matte lip gloss. Which is why I love and hip. I do like that she's herself. You know, you gotta always applaud an authentic soul. You know, this lifestyle, I mean, this this life that we live, um, kind of, it kind of forces us not to be authentic. It kind of forces us to hide from our true selves. So yeah. But what the fuck did she do to her face? Hip hop picked her up and she became even more popular instantly. And then the rest was history. Cardi B became so huge as an artist that she grew a fan base called Barty Gang, beefing with Nicki Minaj and both of their fan bases just attacking each other left and right whenever they get the chance. And at a point, there was a conversation that Cardi See, Cardi B is not an ugly woman. Like, she's not ugly, but. Actually, you know what? I don't want to be that compl that person where it's like, uh, they gonna complain either way. Like, she get work done, she don't get work done. They gonna complain either way. I'm not trying to be like that, but I'm just saying, like, it's just seeing her face, how she used to look, and then how she look now. It's like crazy. Look at Nikki though. Nikki looks beautiful. Maybe could possibly dethrone Nikki as the best rap female artist in the game, and I never agreed to that, but. At a point, there really was a conversation about that. The industry was kind of getting tired of Nicki Minaj's dominance as a female rapper. So with Cardi B's popularity and her look and just a fresh new face, the industry felt like they've struck gold. And they did, but not in terms of taking Nicki Minaj off the top. They struck gold, but they didn't, they didn't fucking struck longevity. Spot, but showing everybody a fresh new face and someone that is relatable. That's one thing that helped Cardi B a lot. She's very, very relatable. And she definitely was the closest female rapper out of everyone to challenge Nicki Minaj in her top spot. Even though Cardi B was exposed for not writing her raps, but we're living in different times now and people don't care, unfortunately, but she was the closest. But as the years went by, Cardi B became- Oh, hold on. See, this is what I'm talking about, y'all. Like, look at her face right here, right? Like, no bullshit. Look at her face right here. And then look right here. But she was the closest. But as the years... Who the fuck is that? I wish I could zoom in, bro. I think I can. Who the hell is that? That damn surgery. She was the closest. But as the years went by, Cardi B became bigger as an artist, more visible than ever. And of course, you're going to have fans and super fans ask you when is your next project coming out because the first album was such a success and then cardi b would tell her fans that she's dropping an album soon and she can't wait to drop it damn 2020 i got like 50 songs 2021 show everybody just to not drop a project and constantly push it back she's been doing that for years telling her fans that she's dropping an album features and the album 
um, just for it to get pushed back, just for her to say, never mind, I don't want to drop it anymore, and then arguing with people online. And six years later, I do believe that Cardi B is terrified of dropping an album. And I don't want to hear all oh, because you're not dropping this, you're not dropping that. I bet when I drop an album, y'all gonna complain. If something don't go right, y'all gonna complain. If the marketing right ain't right, y'all gonna complain. Y'all did the same shit when enough drop. Ugh, complain, complain, complain. Then it was. And this is another reason why I don't like Cardi B that much. Like I ain't gonna lie, I do kind of like Cardi B. Cardi B. Um, she's cool. But uh, yeah, like why is she arguing with her fans though? Like why is she gaslighting her own fans? <laughs> Talk about some. Y'all gonna complain, complain, complain. Either way it go. Like, I mean, I get it. But at the same time, if it's been six years since you dropped your album, and it's not like she's a Lauren Hill. Like, I could see if she was on a Lauren Hill type of talent. Then, yeah, you know, you could go as long as you want without dropping the album. But, no, like, no. And that's what the problem is. She's not that talented. So, it's like, where's the album at? Like, I could see if she was really fucking talented and it really needed some time for her to fucking craft it and, and perfect it and make it just this beautiful snowball. But I don't know why I said snowball. But yeah, she not like that. So. It wasn't no complaint when it went top 10, right? It wasn't no fucking complaint. She is not that easy to go top 10 right now, huh? Always complaining about some shit. Shut the fuck up and celebrate something. Every fucking fan base, whatever little fucking milestone they fucking artists go celebrate it, happy, go about their day. Y'all always talking shit. Shut up and let go. Go lay down. Lay down, bitch. She's been going off on her fans, calling them the worst fan base ever. Just ain't no hormone. Ain't no hormones at all, bitch. Hold on, hold on, wait, my bad, y'all. Ain't no hormones at all. A bitch ain't pregnant. Y'all just run everything for me. Even when I drop music for y'all, y'all run everything. Worst fan base ever. I remember crying to Ken because I felt like I did something wrong when I dropped enough because y'all was complaining that it wasn't on today. Top hits making me feel like I always drop the ball just so the song could go top 10 without it. Y'all just love to complain. Because they're constantly asking, where is the album? And it's been six years. We want some music. We want a full body of work. These singles. Aren't Who's we? Who's we? Aren't enough. They want more <laughs> because her fans were patient. They were waiting. So many years have went by. Music has changed since then. Since the damn, her face looked different, y'all. Like, I just can't believe that shit. What the fuck? Last time Cardi B dropped an album, so many artists have came and went. The sound has changed. A lot of new people are coming. A lot of new female rappers are coming in the game. A lot has changed since then. And for her to go off on her fan base like that is kind of crazy because she wanted to be popular. She wanted to be the top female rapper in the game. She wanted a big fan base. But she has to understand that cult fan bases like that come with the good and the bad. You're going to have a lot of people that support you. But then there's going to be a lot of people asking you a bunch of questions, wanting to know more about your personal life because they love you. That's what it comes with. So for you to disrespect your fan base like that, when it's all... I mean, I don't know. To me, it's obvious that she couldn't handle it. Like, she thought she could. She thought she was ready for the big-ass fan base. Uh, You know, just ready for all the clout and all of that. But she can't handle it. Like, the music, the criticism that's coming, I feel like, to her music, I feel like she can't take it. Like, it's too much criticism for her. That's probably why she doesn't want to drop another album. The pressure that she probably feels like she's under, which she kind of is because it's been six years. So, like, this shit got to be good or could be the end of her career, which it kind of already is the end of her career. But it really could be the end of her career. But I don't know. If she just came out of nowhere and said she was dropping an album, I know people would be tuned in because people want to hear it. Like, they haven't heard an album from her in so long that people are going to want to, like, hear what the fuck she puts out. So. And it's still going to be, sorry, it's still going to be people that are going to support her at the end of the day, no matter what, either way it go, no matter how, if she disrespected her fans or not. All out of love. And of course, there's going to be trolls out there. There's going to be people dissing you and saying negative things. I get that. But that's what it comes with. You can't have this crazy, super popular. What is there. it, bro? Her face. Be people dissing you and saying negative things i get that but that's what it comes with you can't have this crazy super popular fan base but then you want them to not bother you when you keep promising them albums and 
and get mad at them when they try to hold you accountable to the things that you've said. Like when she said that she's done with Offset, of course they're gonna rock with you and say, oh, we don't like Offset anymore. Of course they're gonna say that because they're stands. They're gonna, be, they're gonna rock with you. But then when they see you with Offset, when you said something else, of course they're gonna question you. I mean, she might've got a lot of work done, but she still, she still look good though. I mean, sometimes she don't, but for the most part, she look good like you. Did I say I'm, did I say I, I was back together with somebody? Did I say that? I remember that. She sounded like a fucking five year old. She said, "Did I said that? Did I said that? Did y'all heard that? Did I said it? Did he said it? No. No. Can't worry me texting me. No. No. Tell me to come down. I told you to tell him leave me the fuck alone. You can't just go crazy on them like that. Like at least explain why you did what you did and explain." And she's probably like, well, I don't have to explain it. But Cardi B, you're a superstar in the game with a huge following, a huge fan base. You positioned yourself as being super relatable. So your fans are obviously going to say something and they're team you. So they're going to speak their mind and you can't get mad at that. And the more that Cardi B goes off on her fans, disrespecting them, calling them the worst fan base ever, they're going to turn on you and they're not going to be streaming your music like that. Mm. This whole video is giving me a, a headache now because <laughs> I thought I was interested in how she damaged her career, but I kind of don't care no more <laughs> because the fuck I, it's like, girl, girl, that because a couple of Cardi B singles haven't been doing very well, at least in Cardi B standards. And like I said earlier, her last album was six years ago, and that was her debut album. Yes, she had features. Yes, she had this and that. I get it. She was super visible. I 100% get that. But people want the music. Your fans want music. Even Offset posted on his story that Cardi B is scared to drop. And we are scary and drop the album. Shit goes crazy. Mmm. So her, she probably got a whole album done. And then some. She probably got like two albums done. She just don't want to drop that shit. I already figured that was the case. And the fact that she tweeted that she's not dropping an album this year means her fans have to wait a whole nother year again. And they are just sick and tired of it. Because the longer she waits to drop music, the more people are going to tune out when she does drop music. And will people still love Cardi B as a person? Will she still be popular? Of course. Cardi B's an influencer at heart. She's yeah, like she be doing her modeling shit. She be like either way it go, people still gonna tune in. Uh, they might not give a fuck about her her face. Sorry, but they might not give a fuck about the music for real. But they gonna tune in. She has a personality that could just, I guess, grab you and get your attention and make you laugh and things like that. But if you ask me, I feel like Cardi B's window as an album artist is slowing down. I mean that in terms of people taking her seriously and everyone just focusing on Cardi B. Oh, she dropped an album. Let's just check it out. Of course, there's going to be people that do check it out, of course, but it won't be the same because it's been so long. And based off of the few singles that she's been dropping, it's looking kind of slow at the moment. She needs to get something cooking quickly because if not, it's not going to look too good. She needs to drop a hit. And I mean a legit hit. I'm talking Bodak Yellow type of hit. Like a hit as soon as the beat drop, we know that it's Cardi B and everyone's listening to it. That type of Hold on, how did Bodak Yellow go? I forgot for a second. I got bands in the coop. Uh, uh, on the group. Watch me remember right when I start typing it. But I low-key forgot how it goes. Not even gonna lie. Damn. And the crazy thing is, if you think about it, like, shit was so long ago when I listened. Like, when I, uh, when this song was out and it was on the radio and shit, it just feels like it was so long ago. Like, it's finna be 2025, and that shit was 2018. That's crazy. With hit. She needs that now, or she's never dropping a project. And I think that's also the reason why, because her singles aren't doing too well, and she's not gonna drop no album with no single not doing great. She's not going to do that. So she needs a single that goes crazy. She has a lot of pressure on her right now, but she's the only one to blame. I'm sorry. I honestly think when she dropped the WAP with Megan Thee Stallion. 
that would have been the perfect time for her to go ahead and drop her album and then put WAP on the album because, of course, it would give the album way more streams. And that was the perfect time because that song was everywhere. I didn't like the song or anything like that, but I can admit when a hit is a hit. And that song was a hit. That was her time. That was her window to drop her next project, but she didn't. But I don't know. We'll see what happens, though. We'll see if she drops a hit. Let's see if she drops an album. Because there is rumors that she actually is dropping an album this year. But we're just going to have to see. And so if you got to the end of this. All right, guys. Go watch my next video. Like, why are you not already clicking on it? Like, what are you doing? Who are you finna go watch if you're not watching me? No, I'm just playing. I'm just kidding. Uh, peace, love, and abundance. Stay safe.